What's up, Calvin Gang? All right, so we got this pretty straightforward question here. We got this axis, right? We have three charges on it. We have Q1, Q2, Q3. And it wants us to find the magnitude and direction exerted on these two charges on the third charge, Q3, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So I have five minutes to record this, so I have to go quick. Okay, so some of the forces in the y direction is gonna be the force from Q1 on Q3, which is negative, right? Because it's gonna be, or yeah, it's gonna be pulling it down because this is a positive charge and this is a negative charge, so it's gonna to wanna to pull it down that way. But then this, it's gonna be plus force of Q2 on Q3, but this is a positive charge and this is a positive charge, so it's gonna be pushing it away from the positive charge, right? So actually, it's gonna be pushing it down. So great, so this is also a negative. But what are these forces, right? We need to know what the force is. So force in electric, or due to, yeah, is equal to one over four pi epsilon naught times the absolute value of Q1, Q2, or its radius squared. There we go, so all we need to do is uh, plug this in for what we know. So some of the forces in the y direction is equal to force one on three. So it's gonna be one over four pi epsilon naught. Epsilon naught, I'm gonna write that over here. So it's 0.854 times 10 to the negative 12. That's just a constant you should uh, have written down somewhere. And then, so Q1, so we're looking at one on three, so it's gonna be negative 1.50 times 10 to the negative nine, converting it to normal coulombs, not nanocoulombs, times the charge of two, or which is just a uh, charge of three, 5.00 times 10 to the negative nine. And we're gonna put that on absolute value just to get a positive number. But we're looking for the subtractive, so we need to make sure that this is negative out front because it's pulling it down. The radius between these two is it's 0 0.6, 0 0.4, so it's gonna be 0 0.2 meters squared. So then we're gonna subtract our another force, like we said here. So this is also one over four pi epsilon naught, magnitude of charge uh, Q, or charge two, which is 3.2. So 3.20 times 10 to the negative nine. And then the charge of our one in the center, which is again five, five point zero zero times 10 to the negative nine. All that in absolute value divided by its radius between those two squared. So this is 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 squared between those two. So if you do the math on these, putting epsilon, you're gonna get some of the forces in the y direction is equal to negative 2.58 times 10 to the negative six uh, newtons, right? So there's your value, but it wants it to be more simple, so the actual answer is just gonna be 2.58, and then we're gonna convert it to micro newtons uh, in the negative, negative y direction. We know it's pulling straight down, so there it is. 2.58 micro newtons in the negative y direction. So that's how you solve this kind of problem. Just adding your force is pretty typical, and make sure you know this formula, and then you can do all these problems. So yeah, very good. See you in the next video, guys. See you later.